Hi there, Ian Blair Hamilton here from Alkaway again with my two minute silence when I tell you everything I know. Uh, I had an email from Justin in Canada who wanted to know if you bought the UltraStream today, how long over the life of the filter would it continue to produce really good molecular hydrogen? Well, Justin, the answer is dependent on your water. And what we have found is that this varies related to the, the composition of the water, particularly how hard the water is. Uh, in that sense, if you've got very hard water, the hydrogen capability will reduce over time. Uh, Canada has very soft water, so consequently it's a really good place for an ultra stream. Uh, we are working on ways to overcome that small problem so that everybody who already has an ultra stream when they get their new filter that problem will be massively if not completely lessened so stay tuned and doesn't mean you shouldn't get an ultra stream now and have the benefits okay that's the first thing i also got an email from Chriselle, uh, and she said how soon should you drink the water well if you got, if i could put my mouth over the spout i would <laughs> because your hydrogen is the ultimate escapologist and it is always going to reduce in, in, in concentration in a glass of water. However, there is a difference and you've probably seen those pictures on the websites of the massively bubbly water of the electronic ionizers. Well, you won't get that with an ultra stream. And they used to advertise that to show how wonderfully ionized the water was. What they didn't realize was that those little bubbles there are hydrogen and they're going that away out they're trying to escape so if you get a something like that out of your uh, hydrogen creation device being an electronic yeah. ionizer or anything else what it means is it has agitated the hydrogen to such a degree that it turned into bubbles and it's trying to get out you won't see that in an ultra stream because it fully infuses into the water so you've got h2o plus h2 in the water so that's the big difference now chris l had one other question can you keep it in a stainless steel bottle absolutely uh, at stainless steel or, gla or glass is the best um, if you've got a plastic cap on it it is going to get out of that but you know practically drink it as fast as you can for the maximum concentration or use glass or use stainless steel don't use plastic right because it just it loves plastic it just leaves okay hope that helps